friends, here's an amazing free offer for everyone who's overweight. Even though you've tried other methods and failed, you can still lose ugly fat fast. Now, thousands can tell you that the calometric reducing formula is the only safe, sure, effective way to reduce. This package includes the Wonder 10-Day Diet that lets you eat three delicious meals a day, plus a bedtime snack, and uh, even includes a jog for your willpower. It is absolutely horrifying that this is something that is being marketed as a healthy lifestyle, as a solution to, uh, to weight loss, a solution to building a healthy lifestyle, and not to mention it is being promoted by somebody who has an incredibly large audience, is on national television every single week. It's horrifying because millions and millions and millions of women are exposed to it. Like, you're exposed to it every single day. Um, and this is something that should, should be illegal. <laughs> Hi, Madison here, back with another video covering scams and unethical business practices. And if you like deep dives and like to analyze, don't forget to subscribe. Today, we are analyzing the toxic Teddy Mellencamp program all in, designed to have you lose the maximum amount of weight possible in the most extreme ways, it seems but we'll get into that in a little bit. Before we get into the video, I have a few things I want to say. I first wanna thank you guys so much for all of the support on the last video. So many people understood my message and that means a lot to me. I want to say something I don't think I said enough in my previous video, and that's that I wish Kimberlea and Emily Leah nothing but the best. I hope they find something that truly they're so passionate about and that they find fulfillment in their journey. At the end of the day, we all make mistakes and I think the most important human trait that anyone can possibly have is forgiveness. Also, in that video, a lot of people asked if I have any recommendations for anti-MLM creators that I love. So in the description of this video and pinned in the comments, I'm going to be shouting out some really great anti-MLM creators. And if you're a creator and I forgot you, please comment below. My intention isn't to forget anyone and I will include you on the list as well. The last thing I'll say really quickly is some people found my Patreon before I launched it, which was really cool and kind of gave me more motivation to speed up the process and launch it quicker. So my Patreon is officially launched. So yeah, I have a Patreon. If you are struggling economically, please, please do not feel the need to join the Patreon. In fact, please nobody feel the need to join. This isn't something that will take away from my usual content, but instead add to it, like the podcast that I do with my husband. My Patreon will include early access to videos, access to a private Discord, which I'm the most excited for just because responding to comments and DMs has gotten out of control at this moment. And whoop, well, let's get into the video. Sorry if that was a long intro. I hate when people do long intros, but I had a lot to say. So who is Teddy Mellencamp and what is her all-in program? Teddy Mellencamp Aroyave, hopefully I said that right, was born in Bloomington, Indiana and raised in Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. At a young age, Teddy made a name for herself as a competitive equestrian. At the age of 17, Teddy moved to LA to pursue acting. And in 2017, she met and married Edwin Aroyave, who is the CEO and founder of Skyline Security Management. But what Teddy is most known for is her role on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. On their website, Bravo describes Teddy as an in-demand accountability coach, which I had no idea was a thing. I didn't even know there was such thing as an accountability coach or hadn't really heard of that term before. But according to Google, an accountability coach is someone who is there to provide support, guidance, and peer pressure that's an interesting way of putting it, peer pressure, but okay. And who holds people accountable to take specific actions to achieve their goals. I definitely think an accountability coach is a neat idea. I think 
we all need a little bit of motivation. And if someone's there to be like a support system for you, I think that's awesome. So I'm curious to see what Teddy Mellencamp does with the accountability coach title. Teddy's coaching program, All In by Teddy, has become a multi-million dollar company, according to the Bravo website. But Teddy Mellencamp's All In program may not be as positively life-changing as we've been led to believe. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the All In program. Let's go All In on All In. That was cheesy. I love to eat, but overeating made it impossible to lose weight. But I found the secret to losing weight. It's Sprinkle Away, and it can work for you. Just a little sprinkle will do ya. It makes food too bitter to eat. Sprinkle Away helps you to stop eating too much. You can start shedding those pounds too, easily and naturally. All In by Teddy is a three-part program. Each part has its very own clean menu for its members to follow. Each member gets their very own personal accountability coach who keeps up with them through text messages. The phases are split like this. In the first phase, you have a two week jumpstart designed to detoxify your body and reset your habits to a path of health and wellness detoxify, reset your habits. Already we have a lot of those buzzwords that send alarm bells off in my head. Just because health and wellness can mean so many different things. It could mean eating whole foods and getting sleep and drinking enough water in the day. Or it could mean like the goop version where you go swimming in freezing cold water and shove jade eggs up your hoo-ha. The first part, the two week jumpstart program is $39.90 a day. So literally more than my entire monthly gym membership in one day. And the total cost for two weeks is $599 for someone to text you and for you to get meal plans. To pay $599 for two weeks where you get a menu and someone texting you. You have to purchase the food yourself. You have to do all of that. This is just someone cheering you on, checking in, and changing your lifestyle. Interesting. After you graduate from the two-week program, you move on to the monthly program which is designed to continue the accountability you crave. I don't know if anyone craves accountability. We all need it sometimes in our lives, but craving is a strong word. But yeah, it's designed to continue the accountability you crave, but with a slightly more relaxed menu. Relaxed menu? Does that mean that the two week program is like a really stressful, restrictive menu? What's the opposite of relaxed, uptight? What are these menus that they're talking about? Cause it's a little concerning to me, but anyone else? No, I don't know. Okay. And the price per day is dropped down to $14.25 with the total cost being $399. $400 a month. $400. Then they have this third step called the Way and Workout Program. You can do this program after completing at least six weeks with All In. A daily check-in of weight and cardio is what's required while your coach is there for high fives and helpful hands with a little daily accountability push and that monthly cost is $165. In this program, you're daily checking your weight every single day. They keep saying the word accountability, but to me, that doesn't sound like accountability. It sounds like intimidation. Like this is changing the meaning of accountability to me. <laughs> Whenever they say accountability, I just imagine this like intimidating figure sending me like, threatening text messages like, have you done your cardio? How much do you weigh today? 
that would stress me out, dude. And then you have the last step, which is maintenance. Once you've achieved your goal and have mastered the skills, tools, and knowledge to maintain, this step in the program is designed to solidify your commitment to health and wellness. With simple check-ins and monitoring, it's just the right touch of accountability you need until you're ready to graduate and the total cost is $95. Now, don't get me wrong, I definitely think establishing good habits requires a certain level of accountability, whether it's to others or to yourself, and requires time. But let's just add up all of these costs and say that you just did one month in every single part of the program. The jump start is $5.99. Then let's say you only did one month of the monthly maintenance. That would be $3.99. Let's say you just did one month of the weigh and workout. That would be $165. And then say you did just one month of maintenance. That would be $95. At the end, that's four months and $1,258 spent. And that's excluding the food you have to buy for these meals, a gym membership if you need to do any cardio workouts at a gym, and everything else that you require to lose and maintain weight. $1,258 for this program. And I'm sure they have some sort of thing where if you slip up or your weight starts to gain, you have to stay in this stage longer and pay more money and do more months. So... That's a lot of money. At the bottom, they show two like before and after photos, but as we know from programs like Beachbody or like the Skinny Tees and all of that and all these like weight loss and dieting companies, like before and after photos, you kind of have to take with a grain of salt, especially if someone's leaning against someone, if someone's wearing more flattering clothes in the after picture, if it's taken in a different angle, like before and after photos are a little sus and not something to base your entire purchasing decision off of. But on top of that, the all-in program sells more things. They sell workout videos, they do meal deliveries now, they do an all-in by Teddy postpartum program, they do a retreat as well. The worst part of this entire program and the high expenses is that the all-in program offers zero refunds. No refunds. And they claim on their website that this is a way to keep you more motivated and hold you more accountable because there's no turning back. You can't get a refund. You have to spend money on this. So you might as well go all in. Which is a really weird way of explaining we don't want to give refunds for this. We want to take your money whether we're, or not we're doing a good job. So we're just going to label it as doing a service to you. We're helping you be more accountable. You're going all in, so you might as well give me all of your money. Go all in on your wallet too, right? Why not? It just makes it an even stranger situation because the whole time these people are coaching you, you have in the back of your mind, I've sunk a lot of money into this and I can't get any of that back. So let's examine some of the backlash that the All In by Teddy program has received. What's the best way to reduce? Eat plenty or starve yourself? Starve yourself? Wrong. A half empty stomach causes hunger tantrums. Now with the RDX full stomach reducing plan, you fill your stomach, avoid hunger tantrums, lose excess weight naturally and fast. Okay, so let's break down the diet. Like I said, it's an all vegetarian diet. So here's what it is. You are allowed to have half a cup of oatmeal for breakfast, half a cup of rice and steamed veggies for lunch, a snack of half of an avocado or watermelon in the afternoon, and a broth-based soup, no noodles, no dairy for dinner. And then you are required to drink a cup of smooth move tea, one of those, what is it called? a detox tea <laughs> before bed. So a dietitian, God bless her, she already saved me the time and did the calorie count for this diet plan and it came out at a whopping 600 calories per day. Someone said, I did this program and it was a nightmare. You have to send photos of your weight and each meal and proof of your 60 minute cardio workout every day. 
You cannot drink alcohol or you are immediately dropped from the program with no refund. I calculated the calories to be 400 to 500 calories per day. It was insane. I did it for a few days and could feel myself slipping into obsessive, disordered eating, so I had to stop and I was out $700. I would text my accountability coaches that I was starving and they would just tell me to drink more water. That sounds like an absolute nightmare. To hyper-focus on everything you're eating and send photos of all of the meals you have, of your weight every single day, of your cardio, every single day and forcing yourself to do an hour of cardio every day just sounds dangerous. It's really triggering for people who already struggle with disordered eating or who have body dysmorphia. This really restrictive, like almost punishing system where you're punishing your body and giving it a really negative experience just seems really traumatic. It doesn't seem like accountability to me it seems like intimidation to me. Even worse, a screenshot was leaked of one of the coaches talking to one of the members of the All In program, and it sounds like a nightmare. The person sends in a photo of their scale and says, I didn't get around to cardio last night. I'm sorry, I had a paper due, but I plan on doing extra today to make up for it. And then the accountability coach says, you owe me the extra, and if it happens again, I have to let you go. Rules are rules. Let's get back after it today. That sounds so scary. You owe me extra, and if it happens again, you're cut from the program? Just completely cut off? That sounds so scary. It's such a threatening and ominous message to receive. Imagine communicating with that person every single day, having them judge all of your actions constantly. And it's especially scary because you cannot get a refund. These accountability coaches can treat you however they want to treat you and you can't get a refund. So at the end, you either lose a bunch of money or put up with emotional abuse. I am not an expert. So if you are a more experienced personal trainer, dietitian, or health expert, I would love to know your input on this. But from my experience, I've noticed people who are able to maintain a system to work towards their goal usually are able to maintain it because they're passionate about the system or they like it. Like some people love running. Some people can run five miles every single day and they love it. I hate running. I hate it. I am the worst runner for whatever reason. And if I was forced to run every single day, I would be miserable. In fact, in my past, I, I went through a really unhealthy stage in my life where I forced myself to run every single day and I hated it and I was miserable. But I personally like weightlifting and I love going to the gym and doing weightlifting and I can do that every day. I think it's about finding a system you enjoy. And I cannot imagine a single person who would enjoy this system, who would enjoy sending photos of their weight every single day, every single meal they have, and on top of that, are forced into doing an hour of cardio every day. And the absolute worst part of this all is according to anonymous accounts, before you join the program, you are forced into signing an NDA. An NDA is a non-disclosure agreement, and it means that you can't talk about the program to anyone whatsoever. You can't go to news outlets, you can't post reviews, Technically, you couldn't be able to even tell your family members about it. Like, you're not allowed to talk about this program to anyone. You have to sign an NDA to do a workout program. Imagine if a gym, before you got a membership, made you sign an NDA so you couldn't say what happened in the gym to anyone. That sounds a little concerning. Like what's going on in this gym that I'm not allowed to talk about? Is the workout equipment harming people? Is there like weird rituals going on inside? What's going on? Like, why can't I talk? Like that would be a huge red flag. So the fact that the all in program makes you sign an NDA so you cannot talk about it is extremely concerning. You can't share your experiences or seek any compensation if you're scammed or harmed. 
and you can't get any refund on top of that. Even more so, more and more people can get scammed because people who've done the program aren't allowed to leave reviews or talk about their experiences at all. Therefore, leaving other people even more susceptible to getting roped into the program and having the same bad experience. A Reddit user has said about the program, I'm spilling the tea. I did Teddy's all-in program for two weeks, the jumpstart portion, and it was the most horrible thing I've ever done. I was consuming like 500 calories a day, and that is generous. It was probably more like 450. I can't say what my meal plan was because I signed an NDA. They don't teach you how to live a healthier lifestyle. They teach you how to starve yourself. You also have to work out once a day on it, and let me tell you, after that, I probably had 200 calories left consumed that day. I was irritable, I had constant panic attacks, and it was severely unhealthy, especially for women. I don't recommend the program. All I wanted was to eat. I was like, I'm starvation mode. My work and personal life was doo-doo. I did lose 16 pounds, but if you're basically eating 200 calories a day, then anyone would lose weight. Rant over. I also found a lot more anonymous stories about the all-in program leaked mainly by the Instagram account at Emily Jealous, and so many of them are almost the exact same story, so I'm not going to read through all of them. If you want to, you can pause in the video and actually read through them, but a lot of them are basically just saying that they were starving, they felt sick, and they were told by their accountability coaches to keep pushing through or to not eat certain foods or not eat at all. And a lot of it is just really scary, horrible stuff to see. A lot of the women involved in this program did lose a lot of weight, but in a very unhealthy way that put their health and their bodies in a lot of danger. I also came across anonymous text message screenshots that were leaked from accountability coaches in the all-in program and some of them are just horrible. This one was sent apparently from Teddy Mellencamp herself and it says, pack your scale, no excuses. You aren't a victim, you're a fighter. Another accountability coach tells their client to skip morning snack since they're eating so late, just telling them not to eat and it just feels like really dangerous advice. Overall, the details that have been leaked, even though they're anonymous because of the NDA, these details are just extremely sketchy and really concerning. It's frustrating because all of this information is also extremely hard to verify since information has been posted from anonymous accounts because of the NDA. So it's hard to confirm this information, which makes it nearly impossible for more people to not get duped by this program. The coaches of the All In program aren't even qualified to be running people's lives in such a manner. The coaches have no certificates at all all they have is that they themselves have completed the accountability program. On the All In website, it says, our coaches do not carry any fitness, medical, or health certifications. Each coach has completed the accountability program and lives this lifestyle. So no coaches are receiving any outside information or certifications to help them to be a better coach. It's only this small bubble of what's being taught by the all-in program. And that's what coaches themselves are learning and then passing on and passing on. Like this restrictive bubble with no outside information or input from professionals. Teddy herself does have a certification, or at least she claims she does, but she's not a dietitian. She's not a personal trainer. It seems like she's just a certified accountability coach. So there's very little input from outside experts and you're only learning what the program is teaching you. It sounds like a cult. Like legit, it sounds like a cult. Let's compare everything we know about the all in program to the bite model by Stephen Hassan for figuring out what is a cult. Behavior control. Literally the entire program is controlling your behavior. Information control. They make you sign an NDA, so information about the program can't leak. The only information that's being shared is stuff that's already been taught within the program. It's this bubble of knowledge and you can't seek anything outside of that. 
and you report on everything you do to your accountability coach. Thought control, changing people's identity to fit this all-in program lifestyle. Emotional control, if you disobey even one thing, you slip one time, you are immediately exiled from the program. So the stakes are high. <laughs> and you feel that intensity and pressure 24 seven. In my opinion, it literally fits like to a T the bite model for cults. According to Jesse Hoffman, PhD, the diet program may also be extremely unsafe. In a tweet, Jesse said, how about let's not take diet advice from Real Housewives? A diet that prescribes less than a thousand calories requires you to send updates after every meal and encourages only broth soup for dinner every day is probably the biggest red flag I've ever seen. A recipe for EDs. Literally, a recipe. So you are paying $1,000. $200 at the very least, if you complete this program, to get an ED. So here's the ultimate question. Is Teddy Mellencamp, cramps, Teddy Mellencamp, is Teddy Mellencamp's program an MLM? Some people have speculated whether the all-in program falls under the MLM umbrella, since only those who have gone through the program themselves can be an accountability coach, which means you have to spend a lot of money, $1,200 at the very least, once again, in order to be a coach. But it's unclear whether or not accountability coaches are encouraged to recruit their friends and family members to do the same thing. So the jury's still out on whether or not this is an MLM. In my opinion, it's not exactly an MLM, but it definitely has some MLM undertones as well as culty undertones, and is just overall extremely sketchy. So once backlash started coming out about the Teddy Mellencamp program, how did Teddy herself respond to all of this? Teddy made an Instagram post in which she addresses all of the backlash. Teddy seems to think that if you make people sign NDAs that they're not gonna speak. First of all, they're signing an NDA for a diet, which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Second of all, do these people not realize like eventually if people are, if you assholes are getting people sick, eventually they're going to talk. They're not going to not talk because you made them sign an NDA over eating fucking soup for dinner. Like when people get sick, they freak out and then they eventually talk, which is what exactly what happened with that factor, which is exactly what's happened with Wallen by Teddy. I'm Teddy Mellencamp, a mom and accountability coach. I'm all about turning healthy habits into an everyday lifestyle. I'm here with you. Let's go all in. How do you stay motivated? My response, I'm not, I'm committed. And when you make a commitment to yourself, you get things done. When you're looking for somebody else to motivate you, you always have an excuse on why you can't do it. Hey guys, I just wanted to talk a second about All In. Um, for one, I wanted to say I love All In. I am so incredibly proud of the over 15,000 lives we have helped change. I am so proud of all of our clients. I love all of our coaches. I love that I can wake up every single day and feel good about what I do. I live and breathe it. I 100% feel confident in the fact that we let you know before signing up exactly what the program entails. And if it's something that you wanna do and you want us to hold you accountable to your goals, we are there to do that for you. If it's not something you wanna sign up for, you don't. That's why I love that we are very transparent from the beginning. We believe in you, we will fight for you, and we know that the best is yet to come. Few things on that response. First off, if you're saying that you explain exactly what the program entails before signing up and all you have is that website where you explain the three steps in a one paragraph description, then no, that's not detailing exactly what it entails. But also, if you're so open about the program, why do you have people sign NDAs? NDAs are literally the opposite of being open. Literally the opposite. So no, 
Like maybe this is an outlandish idea, but I think people should have the right to give a review of their experience with your product or service. Beyond that, countless dietitians have weighed in, get it, weighed in, to the all-in diet program and have talked in length about how unhealthy this is, how unsustainable and extremely dangerous. These women in the all-in program are not they're consuming 600 calories a day. They're not getting adequate nutrition to support the health and survival of their bodies. When this is happening, this leads to muscle deterioration. Your body starts to go into survival mode. It's looking for energy because it has to keep you alive. That is its top priority. That's what it wants. That's what it aims to do every single day. And so it looks for other fuel sources and people think, oh great, I'll just start using my fat. No, it is going to start using your muscle mass, including your heart. Your heart is a muscle. And so this is extremely dangerous. This can lead to heart failure, kidney failure, liver failure. This can lead to very life threatening issues. It can lead to cardiac complications because of electrolyte imbalance. It can lead to gut issues, GI issues, hormonal imbalances. It wreaks havoc on your metabolism, fertility changes, and it deteriorates mental health. So looking at the diet and exercise alone, it ain't good. It's called fear-based coaching. This is not effective and this is what is messed up with our industry. It's completely restrictive, it's punishing, and it's messing up people's relationship with food. It is so, so sad. These diets are completely restrictive. You're not losing actual fat. You are literally losing a combination of water, electrolytes, tissue, muscle, fat, you have no energy. Like how do you even have energy to do an hour of cardio on a thousand calories a day? This is absolutely crazy, craziness. And it breaks my heart when women come to me and tell me that previous diets they're on, they were told to be eating a thousand calories and doing high intensity workout. And this is damaging your metabolism, your relationship with food, your energy, your expectations, and it's setting you up for failure because you are not going to be able to maintain this. You're gonna have strong cravings, you're going to be searching for like these foods you can't have because you're literally eating soup and lentils and quinoa. Using your fame to take advantage of those desperate to lose weight by having them pay such a large amount and putting their health in danger and at risk is despicable. Losing weight in a healthy and sustainable way is a different journey for everyone. And I'm not about to say I have the answers because I really don't. It's a complicated process and different systems work for different people. But I think the most important thing, no matter what program you choose, is your happiness. No matter what, nothing is worth losing your happiness and your dignity nothing, no program in my book. And this all in cult of shame seems to be only trapping more and more people into this toxic mentality that they have to starve themselves and be extremely unhappy in order to get the right body image. Fuck that. Mm -hmm.